Hey everyone, Wes here. Uh, I just want to give you a quick tutorial on how to install MAMP on your Mac computer. Um, so MAMP stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Um, and basically it's a way to get a web server running on your local computer. So you're probably used to having a web server uh, somewhere online that you pay for and uh, somehow like FTP you might connect to it. Um, that can be a bit of a pain because every time you make a change you have to upload the file again. Um, so we do something called local development and we, we run a web server on our computer which provides us with uh, all of the tools that we need um, to run a web server on our computer um, without having to upload the files all the time. Um, so this is primarily for PHP applications uh, such as WordPress. Uh, but it can also be nice just to um, have a for straight HTML files. So, so to download MAMP, you go to MAMP.info, uh, and right off the bat, you'll see that there are two versions of MAMP. There is the MAMP Normal, and there is um, MAMP Pro. Um, so when you download it, they're going to give you both, and they're going to install both for you, which is kind of a pain. Um, unless you're a really heavy developer, you don't really need the MAMP Pro. Um, if you if you start to see that you need some of the features of it, um, you can go ahead and look into buying it. But um, for our purposes, uh, the regular version of MAMP has no real restrictions on us, and there's no trial period or anything, and it's totally free. Um, so what we want to do is go ahead to the downloads page and <clears throat> you'll see here it says MAMP and MAMP Pro 2.1.1 and this is the version that almost everyone is going to need um, it supports versions of Mac OS 10.6.6 and above so if you have a older MacBook or MacBook Pro um, that's running uh, you haven't been able to upgrade your OS or you're, you're not able to um, you'll probably want, you'll have to download an older version of MAMP and um, it can be a bit of a pain because it won't tell you that until you actually download it. Um, so the way you can check is if you go to the Apple in the top left corner of your, your screen, click about this Mac, it'll say right under here version. See I have 10.7.5, um, the latest is 10.8, so if you have anything above 10.6.6 you're, uh, you're safe to download MAMP2. Uh, if you have an older version, scroll to the bottom and you'll see that we can download MAMP 1.9.6.1 right here. Um, and then this supports pretty much every major uh, OS X operating system in the last couple of years and above. Um, there's no real, real difference for, for our purposes between the two. Uh, so don't worry if you have to download an older version. Um, so go ahead and click it. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've already started downloading it in my corner here. Um, it's quite a big file, so uh, you might want to go grab a snack or something uh, and, and wait for it to download. Um, I've already downloaded it previous to the screencast, so I'm just going to go ahead and quit it. Um, so when it's done downloading, you can unzip it and there will be an installer file, um, just like any other um, installation process of any application. Uh, you can just go ahead and open it up and install it. Uh, when you're done, if I go ahead and open up my applications here, you'll see that it has installed two folders for you. There's MAMP and there's MAMP Pro. Um, <clears throat> it, it has installed both versions for you because it, it wants to kind of entice you with the free version of MAMP Pro for I think a month or so. Um, but we just want to click on MAMP and you'll see the icon right here is MAMP. So when you click that, we'll see that we have this uh, dialog box open up. And the most important thing that we want to look for here to make sure that it's installed and working properly is that both of these lights here, Apache server and MySQL server, are both green. Um, if one of them is red, you can click stop or start servers here and uh, try give it a shot uh, to see if, if you can get it started. Um, <clears throat> So what we want to do here just to, to take one more step further is click open start page and just make sure that these these are um, working just fine. Um, you'll see here that we have this new address in our address bar called localhost uh, colon 8888 and basically what that means is it's 
it's kind of like a, a domain name for our computer. Um, no one really outside of your, your computer can, can access this. It's just for you. So if you were to type in localhost local host 8888, um, it's going to go ahead and just load uh, a local server for you on your computer. Um, so this is the home page. Uh, you want to also click PHP My Admin uh, and just make sure that um, after a couple seconds that this page loads for you. See mine's loading just fine so uh, I'm in good shape. Uh, the final thing we want to do before we get started is um, specify the directory where MAMP is going to go. So when we visit localhost 8888 um, it's going to act like a .com but it's going to pull the files from somewhere on your computer um, and where those files comes it comes from is totally up to you um, so if we click on the MAMP icon once more and then click on preferences um, you'll see that we have a few um, tabs right here you want to click on Apache and we have a, an input box called document root and basically this is says it's asking us where do you like to keep your websites on your computer so for my my purposes I've I've just put everything into my Dropbox folder uh, but you may be more comfortable putting it in your documents or sometimes uh, Mac OS X comes with a folder called sites so go ahead and just click select And you can go ahead and click that from, I don't know, from if you have something on your desktop, or I don't recommend it, um, maybe go to your thing and click on Sites. Um, that might be a good one to put it in there. Uh, uh, and then wherever this um, path goes to is where you should, you should then be um, putting all of your, your uh, folders in. So, for example, um, on latest learning code, we'll have a WordPress folder. Um, you'll put the WordPress folder right inside of my Dropbox folder or inside of your sites folder whatever you've specified here and when we visit localhost 8888 forward slash WordPress or whatever our folder is called it'll then um, it'll then pull us up pull it up for us uh, on the local server um, past that um, we don't have uh, any more things to set up, pretty straightforward. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.